Get ready for the juiciest, most tender steak because you're about to discover the best steak marinade recipe you'll ever taste. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. If you love a juicy steak that melts in your mouth, then this video is for you. This recipe is super simple and doesn't require a ton of ingredients. First things first, gather your ingredients together. You only need olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, lemon juice, and your spices and seasons do vary. Um, I went ahead and made the marinade flavorful with some dried basil, um, garlic powder, dried parsley, some black pepper, some uh, garlic, salt, onion powder, seasonal. I really wanted to spice it up just a little bit too, so I did add actually a little bit of mesquite rub. Um, first things first, I did add all the liquid ingredients first, so that would be the soy sauce, the lemon juice, the Worcestershire sauce. So when it comes to following recipes, I do usually follow them for the most part, but I do always add my own kind of like spin to it, adding different seasonings, kind of doing a little bit of experimenting. So I kind of use a recipe usually as like a little bit of a base starter spot. As you can see, I'm just kind of adding the ingredients and um, kind of adding a little bit more of this or that if I felt like I was kind of lacking a little bit. When it came to actually adding the steak into the bowl, I did make sure that I mixed everything together thoroughly, added all my seasonings, and then I made sure to tenderize the meat, and then I actually let it soak in the marinade for a minimum of two hours to make sure it really held that flavor. If you're wondering why our steaks look a little bit different, these are the steaks that we got from our butcher. This is actually four steaks total, so I'm adding everything to the back and then I made sure to tenderize them and then add in the actual marinade that we made. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it soak uh, for a minimum of two hours and then here I am kind of shaking everything up, making sure that everything is really out of that bowl and going to be coating the steaks good and well. Here comes the fun part, now it's time to rinse off my potatoes because I'm doing roasted potatoes as my side, I'm going to cut them up and then it's basically going to be the same process as kind of the steaks. We're going to cut them up, wash them, and then add in the seasonings that you want to go ahead and flavor with your potatoes. So I did Italian seasoning, a little bit of seasonal, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I put it on a cookie sheet, baked it for 300 for 35 minutes. Seasoning, I added olive oil, a little garlic salt. I ran out of garlic powder, that's why I'm using garlic salt. So we're using a little bit of black pepper here. And then I do add some seasonal. This is gonna be onion powder also that I'm gonna be adding to this. And then obviously, I'm gonna shake it all up, make sure it really stays in there. Don't forget to add your Italian seasoning to the mix as well. One of the best things I feel like that really made this recipe special and flavorful is get yourself a cast iron skillet. Make sure you have it nice and heated up. Add your oil to it so nothing's sticking where it shouldn't be. So you can see me add my olive oil. Only thing I forgot to add was a little bit of butter, but it was super flavorful. There was nothing missing from this recipe. So I added on low heat. Let that pan heat up before I get my steaks out. You can see they have a nice dark color to them. They are super, super juicy, and the marinade really soaks into that meat. So I did end up taste testing these steaks and realized that it just needed a little bit of oomph to it. So I went ahead and added a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of seasonal to the tops of them as they were cooking. And it really, really just set it off, y'all. Here's a little bit of behind the scenes as I'm filming. So you can see I added that little seasoning right there on the top. And that steak was so juicy, I cooked them all medium 
rare. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want more food videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. How do you cook your steak, guys?